Hi there, this is Mr. Arnold for Hegarty Mats with a, a video on core mats. And don't forget to check out uh, the website hegartymats.com, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, etc. etc. So, this first video is, um, is for your core mats, as I said, and is on the Algebra Basics one. So, nothing here is new. Um, I'm just going to run through some examples um, which are a little bit more complicated than ones that you might have come across at GCSE. If you want to see tutorials on the various different topics and uh, more in-depth tutorials, do check out the GCSE stuff. Okay, let's uh, have a look at this one. So we're going to do some expanding and simplifying. Just refresh our memory here. If I had a problem such as this, I need to be able to uh, expand the brackets and then collect our like terms together. So, this 7 is on its own here, so I'm going to write that down. There's nothing I need to do with that. This minus 4 here, though, is outside the brackets, which means I need to expand it. Um, by multiplying, so we're going to do minus 4 times 2x to get minus 8x. Minus 4 times y is going to be minus 4y. Now we're going to uh, expand this one in. 3 times 5x squared gives us 15x squared. And then 3 times 2x gives me 6x. And then 3 times minus y, minus 3y. Okay, so that's the expanding done. Now let's simplify by collecting our like terms together. Um, I'm going to write the 15x squared first. 15x squared first. I like to uh, write things in um, the highest powers and then work my way down. So we got 15x squared. Uh, let's go with any x's, collect our x's together. So we got minus 8x plus 6x gives me minus 2x. And then we've got the y's now, so minus 4y, uh, minus 3y is minus 7y in total. And then we've got the 7 as well, so plus 7 at the end. So that's it, expanded and simplified. Right, second example now. Same idea again, expand the minus 2b squared into the brackets and then collect our like terms together. So minus 2b squared times 4 is minus 8b squared. Minus 2b squared times a is minus 2ab squared. You could that you could write that as minus 2b squared a. That's fine. Um, and minus 2b squared times minus 3b is going to give plus 6b cubed. Okay, so we've expanded now the minus 2b squared into the bracket. We still have this plus 2a minus b part. And now what we're going to do is we're going to collect our like terms together. So, uh, let's start with the uh, highest power, which would this be this 6b uh, cubed. So we get 6b cubed um, minus 2ab squared um, minus 8b squared. Plus 2a minus b. So in fact, actually, there was no um, this. This didn't actually get any better going from this line to this line. So a wee bit of time wasted there. Anyway, example three. So we're used to expanding um, uh, brackets that have two terms um, by another bracket that has two terms. This type of scenario is is not really much different. Same idea. I'm going to go first times first gives me x cubed. I'm going to do first times second. So x times 2x is 2x squared. First times third. So first times first, first times second, first times third. x times minus 4, minus 4x. Now we do second times first, second times first is going to give me minus 3x squared, minus 3x squared. Uh, second times second, minus 6x and then second times third plus 12 and now let's collect our terms together so x cubed we got 2x squared minus 3x squared is minus x squared and we got minus 4x minus 6x minus 10x plus 12 so this is actually a cubic expression 
Okay, so that, that's pretty much um, just a, a quick recap on, on expanding and simplifying with some more complicated examples. And next part of the video is about the laws of indices. Again, you should know all of these. You, they're absolutely critical to your core maths. So if you don't know them, learn them. And if you want to see videos on on how these um, now these work in in more in more depth and where they came from and why they work, uh, do check out the GCSE videos on them. I'm not going to go through it now because we've already got it done. So let's just do some examples. So um, suppose I want to do two over three cubed. Well, that's the same as cubing the top and cubing the bottom, which give me eight over twenty-seven. So I did two cubed over three cubed. Is eight over twenty-seven. Okay, something like this: six x to the five, y to the eight, divided by three x squared times y. Well, well, six divided by three is two. X to the power of five over x squared. I subtract the powers, gives me x cubed, and y to the power of eight over y. Again, subtracting the powers gives me y to the power seven. Job done. Okay, thirty-six to the minus three over two. And um, we should know that we can um, we can write this. It, it, it's essentially this rule here. Um, a to the minus m equals one over a to the m. So it's the same as one over thirty six to the power of three over two. And let me make some space. Uh, pull that down. Um, okay. So we get one over thirty six to the power of three over two. Hmm. Okay, which is going to be 1 over, now we can think of this as uh, 36 to the power of a half cubed. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this rule here, a to the power of n, all to the power, a to the power of m, all to the power of n, means we multiply the power so I can work backwards. I've got 3 over 2, and noting that 3 over 2 is the same as a half times three so I've just written it as 36 to the power of a half all cubed 36 to the power of a half is the same as uh, the square root of 36 which is 6 so we get 1 over 6 cubed and now finally 1 over 6 cubed 6 cubed is 6 times 6 times 6 which is 216 I hope okay next one here Again, just kind of using a combination of all the rules here. Let's see. Um, let's simplify the top first and foremost. So that will give me 2 a to the power of 1 and 3 quarters, or let's say, let's call it 7 over 4. Remember, when you multiply powers with the same base, or terms with the same base, you add the powers. So that's 2a to the power of 7 over 4 over... 8a to the power of minus a half. And let's press on here. Uh, 2 goes into 8 4 times. And then what we can do is we can subtract the powers. So I've got essentially I've got um, 1 quarter because I've divided 2 into the top and bottom, so 1 over 4. 1 quarter times a to the power of 7 over 4. And I'm doing minus minus a half. Watch out for that. I'm subtracting the powers, but I'm subtracting a negative number. So minus minus a half, which is essentially one quarter a to the power of, that means I'm adding on two over four, which would give me nine over four, which is a to the 9 over 4 over 4. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. As I said, nothing really new there, just some more complicated examples. All the best.